Good afternoon, guys. I've got the top five fishing accessories for the kayak angler today. Uh, I'm gonna go over these uh, five Christmas presents and uh, tell you a little bit about each one. Uh, four out of the five I own and use on a uh, daily basis. And then the last one is a product I don't own yet, but I plan to soon in the future. Uh, so if you are interested in getting any of these products that I list, I'll put links in the uh, video description showing where you can get them or a website. And some of them I'll even have a discount code to save you a little money on. So uh, let's get started on the top five fishing accessories for a kayak angler. We're going to go through these from the lowest price to the highest price. So the first one on my list is... Fish Monkey Filet Gloves. Uh, if you saltwater fish and you eat fish, then you probably do a lot of your own fish filleting. And if you go offshore, you're catching stuff like triggerfish, uh, red snapper, or inshore, even sheep's head. Uh, it's really tough to fillet those fish. They got really thick hides, thick scales. So you're using a lot of extra pressure and I've had a couple knife slips over the years and uh, cut myself really good. These gloves put a stop to that. They are uh, Kevlar lined, so the knife should not penetrate. I'll show you. This is a super sharp sword blade, you can see. Shaving the hair off not going through. So, now you could poke through, but as far as slicing, you're not gonna slice through that glove while you're filleting fish. They also have a rough non-slip grip too, which makes it really good for holding those slimy, slippery fish. You can get those online. Uh, a lot of retailers carry them. So that's number one on my list. Okay, the next one on the list, number two, uh, you've seen me using my videos a lot and you see it all every time that I go out. It's the Blue Dot Outfitters kayak cooler. Uh, you see mine, I've had mine a while. It's been through the ringer, but it still works great. It has a, a water resistant pocket here. You can put stuff you don't want to get wet in, but the best part is the inside. Uh, you can fit a ton of food and drinks in there it's got the water resistant zipper, seals it up. It just attaches with uh, little bungees that are attached. Uh, very durable. Uh, I just leave it on my kayak all the time. I never take it off. Uh, it will keep ice for three days inside there. So it's got really good thick insulation uh, it's just a well-made product, and I use mine all the time. And if you spend a lot of time on the water, then you're going to be eating and drinking. So that's a uh, pretty much I consider it a kayak essential. Plus, you don't have to take room up on the kayak with a cooler. So it just mounts on the back of your seat. Easy to use. Okay, number three uh, is not a product that I've used yet, but I plan to soon. Uh, the Hobie seat and the Old Town seat, they both have their advantages. The Hobie seat is a little bit more uh, forgiving on your rear. Uh, it doesn't make your butt quite as sore, but it's pretty small. So if you're a bigger guy, you're probably pushing up to the edges of the seat. The Old Town seat is huge. Uh, you have tons of room to move around. You can shift your weight in the kayak from one side to the other just by sliding around on the seat, but it's very firm. It's a real firm, real firm seat. And I like to have something soft to sit on. So uh, the next product on my list is the kayak cushion, the square. The square fit perfectly in here. Uh, it attaches to your seat. It's got uh, two types. They've got a normal and then they've got a firm. So it just depends on what you're looking for but you can get those online. Uh, something I'll have real soon, but that's another great present for a kayak angler. 
Number four on the list, sword fillet knives. My favorite are their flexible blades. They've got an extra flex blade. Uh, both of these are the extra flexible. This is the flex blade. They've got a seven inch and a nine inch. You can see how easy that blade bends. When you're going along a fish on the table, you can see it's got a lot of flex. It's gonna cut really good. Uh, these sword knives are about the highest quality fillet knife you can get. They're not cheap, but you get what you pay for. Uh, they've got a titanium and Teflon coating on the blade. They are super sharp. Uh, the sharpest knife I've ever bought out of the box. Uh, very sharp blade. And the best part is all of the sword products are backed by 100% satisfaction guaranteed return policy and a no haggle lifetime warranty. So if something happens to it, uh, anything goes wrong, you just call them up, they'll take care of you. But those are the only fillet knives I use. I use the serrated blade, I use the flex blades, and I also use their bait knife. So any of the sword knives make a great stocking stuffer for the kayak angler. Okay, the last and final product on my list, which is probably my favorite, is the Yak Attack Black Pack Kayak Crate. Uh, I've got these on both of my kayaks. Uh, this is the 13 by 16, and it's very versatile. Um, you can see you can put the hinges wherever you want on here. Uh, for the old Hobie Outback, it turned the other way, it will not fit. So all I did was I put the hinges on the short edge and mounted the lid there so it'll open long ways. I can still get into it. On my old town, it fits sideways. So I've got the hinges and the lid latches on the opposite side. So it latches into your kayak really easy. You just use the bungees. It's got places to hold it. Uh, the rod holders, which uh, if you watch the channel, you've seen me lose a couple rods because I didn't have rod leashes on. So that problem solved. Built in bungee rod holders. They just retract into place right there when you're not using them. When you need them, just pull it up, lock it in. Rod's not coming out. Uh, I love it. There's tons of space inside. It's very sturdy, rigid, uh, tons of room. The latches are great. All right, one of the best hidden features is the rubber stoppers underneath on the bottom. They dampen any sound from the box moving. It keeps it soft and quiet if it does shift while you're fishing. And of course, all these little holes or attachment points for yak attack accessories. This is for holding my flag. You can put these anywhere you want on here. They can use, be used to hold camera arms, uh, all sorts of accessories, whatever you need. But uh, that's probably the one that I use the most and I love the most. And so if I was looking for like the best kayak accessory gift to get a fisherman, it would probably be this crate but all these gifts are good. I use them all and I'm gonna be using the kayak cushion. So uh, I hope this helped. I hope this gave you a few ideas of uh, what to get somebody for Christmas. So uh, until the next video guys, tight lines and thanks for watching.